Hey guys, thank you so much for watching What's Good Kimberly. I am so excited to share with you the interviews that I was able to do on the Day of Beauty. Um, now because of uploading and memory and how much you can upload to YouTube, I wasn't able to put in all of the interviews that I did, but I um, hope you enjoy this interview episode. This is just the interviews from that day. There were two amazing young ladies that I had the honor of interviewing and unfortunately I wasn't able to cut it into the episode but their story is so powerful and so inspirational I want you guys to see it and I want you to see all the other people I was able to interview that day um, I also have extended versions of all the interviews because I value the time um, and the courage of the people that gave me their stories and gave me their time to tell me um, why they volunteer or how their lives have been changed or or just share their heart with me so I want to respect them and give them um, the platform that they deserve so here you have it these are the interviews from Day of Beauty enjoy hi guys I am here with Lucero and Carmen they used to be clients here in Crittenton and they are both getting their masters which is absolutely incredible so tell me a little bit about what Critton means to uh, you and your journey um, so actually it was just me that was here um, they separated us. So when I was living in this group home, they sent her to a group home in um, LA County. So we we're LA County. Oh, you were so separated. Oh, yeah. Wow. And so um, Orange County was completely new to me. I'm from LA. Um, so she got to stay in LA County. I, I, I was um, sent here and I loved my experience here. I loved my time here. I felt like I really um, got the chance to heal and rehabilitate from all the trauma um, that I had experienced growing up. And before that, I was in and out of juvenile halls and, and I was sent to juvenile camp and, and those experiences, those institutions were so punitive that it did nothing um, for me, um, for me to heal and rehabilitate. It just made things absolutely worse. Uh, but coming here, they treated me like an actual human being with dignity and worth. Um, and that's really what turned it around for me. Um, I felt love for the first time from these staff, from these people that I call mama <laughs> now. Um, and this to me is my home, the cottage. Um, but I decided I would like to come and I wanted my sister to kind of experience a little part of my childhood that, that we didn't get to experience together. And now we do that together by coming here and it just it's kind of full circle for me it brings a lot of healing to me it brings my sister closer to me and includes her in a time it includes her into an experience that, that we were separated in that that was kind of you know not a really great time and not a really great place but now it's kind of you know really amazing I've gotten some of my friends involved so every year one of my friends who um, is kind of freelance makeup artist she started with Mac and now she's um, freelanced out after she, Armani change and does big events yeah she wow. started volunteering here and she's been coming back every year so it's really great um, and we enjoy coming out and we enjoy I love coming out and meeting it's been so lovely to meet you ladies and I just think it's so amazing to see that you were separated and have come back together and you were both getting your masters at USC at I US know. oh <laughs> my excuse me excuse me I'm sorry <laughs> I have to qualify at USC yeah. she's like you need to remember to say that. <laughs> that's really important well we thank you school, so much <laughs> and keep it up and what is it red reading Red white cardinal. red and green what are you calling it's red and cardinal oh she's like cardinal, get it right red and gold <laughs> it's red, red, and red, and gold. red and yellow <laughs> yeah. red and gold mm -hmm. usc okay as, lo as long as i don't mess on. it up because people will come for me if i mess it up <laughs> oh yeah so probably let me make it clear these amazing now. young ladies are be. getting their masters at usc here in california and don't don't write me or email me because that's what it is all right thank you guys <laughs> Okay, bye. Bye. Tell me a little bit about yourself and your involvement in uh, volunteering here at Crinton. Sure. My name is Sheila Jordan and I volunteered for Crintonton or other like facilities for over 20 years. Yeah. Um, I started volunteering because um, things that I went through in my childhood and the wonderful mentors that were around me and the things that they did for me to help me to get to where I am today. So I thought that I would want to give that back to other young ladies to help mm. them to develop and go out into the world. 
Um, I added an additional piece to that probably about 10 years ago. Um, my church asked me, actually probably longer ago than that, uh, asked me to come out and lead a group um, of church folks to go into a group home. And about eight years ago, that turned into a Bible study. So every fourth Monday, uh, my church, Friendship Baptist Church, I co-lead I co a, a group of women that come out and we teach and spread the gospel to the young girls and help them to use those as life skills so that when they are 18 plus years old that they can use those for themselves and their children to be able to um, live out their lives and live it in the manner in which Jesus Christ would have wanted them to. That's awesome. And today, are you doing hair and makeup? I am doing hair. I actually awesome. uh, am blessed to have been born and raised in a beauty salon there in, Anchorage, you go. <laughs> in Anchorage, Alaska. My aunt's owned a beauty shop that they had all the way back from the 50s, and it's oh, still wow. open today. Oh, my gosh. One of them still works there. She's 80-plus years old. What? And um, so I grew up uh, doing hair, so... I have that. I have that skill, and I and I still uh, use it and, and use it on, on a day like today to help the girls. That's fantastic. Well, you're doing an incredible job, not just today, but on a monthly basis. Um, you know, feeding our girls the word, and I know that you're going to do a great job making them feel special today. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's more of a blessing for me to be here than it is for the girls, probably because I feel blessed just to be able to share God's word. Hi Wendy, thank you so much for volunteering today. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well today we are pampering the young ladies here and just appreciating them for the women that they are and the beauty that they have inside and out and just helping them feel like somebody cares and um, that they are important. And um, we just love to come and give back to these women and um, around the community and just make a difference in their lives. And you're taking your whole Saturday to do this. So you really must care about the young ladies here and, and, and just spending time and making them feel special. What specifically is happening at your table today at your station? Well, today we are doing um, skincare with them. So we're doing facials with them and pampering their skin. And, Helping them feel um, their lovely, smoother skin. Smoother skin. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Thank you so much for You're volunteering. Welcome.